When dealing with large amounts of data, having the ability to automatically highlight cells with a specified fill or font color based on the rules you've set makes the task far less tedious. Thanks to Excel's built-in color coding, you won't have to deal with selecting individual cells and manually highlighting them, so you can easily point out certain pieces of data to help you visualize and analyze them. How you color code your spreadsheet depends on what data you want to highlight. One of the most basic tasks you can use Excel for is highlighting duplicates. It essentially marks all cells with duplicated data in the format that you choose. To highlight duplicates, select the range of cells that you want to check. Go to the Home tab and under the Conditional Formatting section, navigate to Highlight Cell Rules and Duplicate Values. In the pop-up window, select the format you'd like to use from the two drop-down lists. The first drop-down list lets you select whether to highlight duplicate or unique cells, while the second list offers you a set of formatting options like text color, background fill color, and border. Once you've chosen your formatting, click OK. Next up, you can sort your list by color to highlight duplicates together. This feature works especially well with larger lists. Select your desired data range and select Sort under the Data tab. Select the column that you want to sort your data by from the Column option, the Cell Color from the Sort On option, the Color from the Order section, and On Top in the final drop-down list. Once done, click OK. Your list will now be sorted by color with duplicates listed on top. You can also sort by top 10 or bottom 10 to highlight the largest or smallest numbers in your list. To highlight the top 10 items on a list, go to the Home tab, navigate to Conditional Formatting and Top Bottom Rules, and select Top 10 Items. In the pop-up window, adjust the number of options you want and select a format that you want to apply. These are just a few of the color coding options Excel provides, but things can get a lot more complex from here. For example, Data bars help to show a combination of data and bar charts inside cells to help you visualize the cell's values, with the length corresponding to the cell value of other cells. To insert data bars, select the column or range that you want to format. Under the Home tab, navigate to Conditional Formatting and Data Bars and select your desired color and fill style. Meanwhile, icon sets help you to highlight values with directional arrows, shapes, rating stars, and other objects. To use icon sets, select the column or range that you want to format and navigate to Home, Conditional Formatting, and Icon Sets. Select the icon style that you want to use and Excel will automatically interpret your data. You can also change and adjust the formatting rules according to your needs by going to the More Rules tab under Icon Sets. Finally, color scales assign colors to the lowest value, highest value, and weighted blends of color to the other values making it easy to see general patterns in your data. To apply color scales to your data, select the column or range you want to format and navigate to Home, Conditional Formatting, and Color Scales. As with other conditional formatting tools, you can adjust the rules according to your preferences by selecting More Rules. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Excel and other technology. And do not forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.